Hello everyone and welcome back. In this video I will be teaching you how to play Debussy's arabesque number one in E major. E major is like this. But the piece is going to start in A major. So from this we could go to the fourth chord of the scale and we find that A major here. What he does is the version below and he had these two notes, so that's an A major. Then he adds F sharp passing tone from the scale to the next chord, which is G sharp minor. That's the first measure. So G sharp minor is here, A major is here. He's using both of them. So A major in this way, and then this. So A major to G sharp minor, the fourth chord and the third chord. And all we do is move that up and down. You can see both chords very clear. And it does a triplet. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. And it's true that if you can, you could start a little bit lighter and then increase a little bit. So it moves more. Okay, here I will do this fingering one, two, four to get you to do the next chord. Now, notice here this is the chord that we have, and really this chord is outlined right here, but he extended it. And that's the inversion and has this. The passing tone now is D sharp, same technique, and now we result to E major. E major is the first tone. So you get that the same technique from the first measure, so it does this. We move it. It's almost like playing the fourth chord of the scale, the third chord, the second chord, and the first chord, which is A major, G sharp minor, F sharp minor, and E major. He does it instead on this way. And add one note in between. The F sharp, the D sharp, now we're gonna change. I hope this is clear to you. If not, rewind it. All the information is there. So, for the next part, I think the easiest is to figure out the chords on the left hand and then add the right hand. So that means we're gonna have an F sharp minor and notice that the we have a, a half note on the first note, F sharp. So we're gonna run that, hold these two notes, F sharp minor. Then we're gonna go to A major by moving just one note, which is to E, we have already A major, then D only, D sharp minor, and then we get to A major. I'll do it one last time, so. The important thing is you hear those bass notes which are longer. So now the same chord is going to come up on the right hand here and it's going to stay the same. So the notes that you're going to use is F sharp minor here, we're going to split it and then the inversion. And I'll show you how. So if we start splitting it, we have melody, background, melody. That's one way. Next, next part. He does that by itself, nothing else. Now he repeats the pattern before. And now the inversion. And then he goes to A major. If I do it a little bit quicker. Okay, when we put it together, you'll see now that we keep this and 
that's what it moves. So we're gonna play it from the F sharp below. So these two notes together, together, together on F sharp and C sharp by itself, left hand, and we change to B7. So let's do a little bit quicker now. What is important is to sing that F sharp and the melody on the right hand, which is this. Okay? All together. Now here he added like a B ninth. He runs all the way through the scale. Fourth finger here. We have this. Okay, so the A is gonna come in on the C sharp, G sharp, and F sharp together with those two notes, and we get to E major. So we're gonna learn, let's play up to that point slowly and see if you could get it. pianissimo again. So now we're going to change to the first chord of the scale. So we're going to have E major that is like this. He's going to put it on the bass in this way and he's going to do it all these notes with the left and it's going to go up and all, that's all he does. So two and back. Now he's going to go to a C sharp minor over E here but all he moves is the C sharp. back that's it from here to here instead so again okay so the right hand has something that is uh, their triplets but we have three against two all the time so we have this note This repeats two times. Okay, it's very simple. What you have to do is think on two groups of notes. First one will be this one. And you put this finger in. So it's like three, four, two, three, one. Then you're gonna put fourth finger on C sharp. So you have those fingers, four, three, two, one, three now, four and two. Feels very comfortable. Okay, now to that we add the triplet, so we have to add the accent a little bit. It's true that it's very pianissimo, so you don't have to emphasize it, but it has to be measured. So we'll do this. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two. Okay? So we have to emphasize it so we could center it as a triplet and it's not gonna end up being like an eighth note or something like that. So let's do it one last time. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two. That's two pulses. One and half. Okay? I hope this is clear to you. Notice here there's a simple rotation from one note to another. Right, left, right, left all the time. So. It could give you a liberty knowing the movement because if you want to play more quickly, it comes easily. Now, how to put it together? We're going to add one group at a time. So, so we're gonna start with the left hand here and we're gonna match together. Right, left, right, together. So you, we did one group. So let's do it again. 
together, right, left, right, left. And you have to do it like this and very patient. Now I'm going to add another group, but I'm going to tell you where I match it and when it's right and left. So, together, right, left, right, together, right, left, right, and then together. Again, let's do it again. One last time, this one. So we have together, right, left, right, together, right, left, right, together, right, left, right, together. So it's always the same. So pretty much one together and one and another on the side and together again. Let's do it the whole group now. Together, right, left, right, together, right, left, right, together, right, left, right, together, right, left, right, together. We run this C sharp together with E and then we do it again, repeat the same. have problem what you have to do is split it in smaller groups and then add one note at the time one note at the time uh, the other thing you could do is let's say if you have problem with these two notes matching it you could do the triplet there that's one now the next one will be notice that we match the first one by itself by itself and now together Okay, so we have Then you could start speeding it up a little bit a tempo If you get lost that means you have to do more repetition on this area and try to rewind it and really follow each one which one matches which one separated we do it very slow like 10 times and then you can start speeding it up the next section will be we have this melody now that's the whole melody now we start with triplet one two three one so we have two lines now for the left hand we'll do this arpeggio an F sharp minor 7 and you have the same notes right left right together together right left right together we keep going to G sharp and C sharp so if you do it a little bit quicker okay now we run the arpeggio here G sharp on the top we take the B with the right hand so we have okay the chords are the same one C sharp minor 7 here let's say here this is the chord I think you might get lost if I explain all the chords there is but so notice here match right left right together now together 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 and together together here Now we do the same pattern here but with the different notes. So we have this pattern on, on the right hand. Notice the switch of the finger. One. 
and left hand. Three. That's it. Same F sharp minor from before. So we have this now. The same, matching the first one. Right, left, right, together. Okay, we get to E. Now the left hand, we're gonna have the same pattern going up. We're gonna have the hand should go down here, up. Now all the same chord. So all you have to memorize is the first one like this and this one. Then you kind of that's the inversion. at the end. So we have back and the melody with it we have the E triplet Then we go back to the same theme. When you put it together, E matches, second note matches, triple now, right, left, right together. Again, the triple. back to the same thing. I hope this video was helpful and if you enjoyed subscribe. Thank you very much.